this is obviously a very difficult time in the history of this great uh, great event and it's probably not a stretch to say that it's uh, the most difficult time. Um, <clears throat> having said that, I'm uh, quite confident that at some point we'll emerge from this storm and, uh, and, and move on. One of the things he said that I think is terribly important for people to understand is he, he makes the claim that, that he did everything he could to get this information out there. What he's really saying is he did everything he could to get the Iditarod to say, we know you didn't do this. We couldn't prove either way. So in good conscience, we couldn't make that statement. Dealing with something for the first time is, is, is not, uh, not easy. Um, I don't want to say we were learning on the fly, but to, to some degree, maybe we were. I know that this organization is, is committed to, a, uh, to dealing with things uh, much sooner um, than, than we were able to. We're discussing different, uh, different things that we might be able to do to increase security in the dog lot to rule this out as a possibility, however large or small that possibility is. Um, as well as uh, as well as various checkpoints, I feel for Dallas CV. I really do. Um, but um, going down this road of trying to tear the Iditarod apart and as uh, you know cause it harm, um, I don't think that's healthy.